Hello, and welcome to my let's play on Age of Gladiators 2 Rome. If you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know that I let's played the first game, Age of Gladiators, a couple years ago, which was a lot of fun. The developer asked me to do a couple of videos on this as well. I said, fuck yeah. I didn't say that actually, but I did say yes. Because I really enjoyed the first game, so I want to do a let's play on the second game as well. Uh, this is actually not technically the second game. There is a another Age of Gladiators 2 game, which is not called Rome. It's just Age of, Gladi Gladi Age of Gladiators 2. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, which was actually kind of sci-fi and didn't really do too well, which is why he decided to kind of take the, the whole sci-fi game and just make it into Rome again, because the first game was based on Rome and that went a lot better. Uh, this game is basically the, sa the same as the first game, except it's much more detailed and there's also like 3D fights now rather than only the text-based fights as, uh, that the first game had. Uh, you can still go text-based if that's what you prefer, um, but yeah, it has both now, so that's cool. Uh, quickly before we start, uh, you can rename gladiators just like the first game, so if you want a gladiator in the game, please do feel free to let me know in a comment what you would like your gladiator to be named, called. Uh, I do qu have a, quite a few names already from people on my Discord, uh, uh, patrons as well as non-patrons. Patrons do get priority, of course. Um, and also, if you would like to play this game yourself, I will have 10 keys to give away. Uh, when the game releases, or in during the release week, uh, when I'm uploading this, it's either going to be August 10th or 11th, probably. Uh, I think I'm allowed to upload on the 11th, but I'm not 100% sure, it might be the 10th. Um, but anyway, so I, it won't be for a few days yet that I have the keys, but he said he'll give me 10 keys to give away uh, in the release week. So if you want a copy of the game, please do let me know uh, in a comment as well. Just leave a comment, just telling me, give me a fucking game. And then also, you should join my Discord, actually. Yeah, join my Discord. Sorry, I just came up with that two seconds ago. Um, there will, there's a link in the description. You have to join my Discord because I'll be giving out the keys there to people who commented on the video. Anyway, that's a, far too long. Let's start a game. Sorry about that. Hopefully, some of you just skipped through it and didn't hear me blabbering on. So, to start off, uh, we must create a character, or a, a uh, Lanista, if you will. Um, I'm not going to take my name yet, because if I change to Gaul or to Africa, it's going to change that again anyway. It doesn't, I don't think it actually matters what uh, ethnicity you choose, or what, where you heal from, I suppose. Uh, I think the only thing difference, uh, differs is that the kind of people you fight, um, I'm not even sure about that actually, maybe it's always the same. Um, but it changed your, your portrait, so that, that's the that's thing. Um, I could go for this guy, Roman, but to be fair, Gaul, I mean, Gaul is kind of close to home, so I could go for a Gallic one, although none of these guys look anywhere near what I would look like. Um, and these guys all just kind of look, I mean, what is, what are these two? I like this one, this is pretty funny, but I'm gonna go with this guy, because he looks pretty, he looks like a straight up sneaky guy, actually. He doesn't look normal at all. Um, he's gonna be called Donkey, I mean, this guy would be a great Donkey, but we're, we're taking this guy. So you can choose your starting trait, if you will. Merchant gives you 100,000 starting coin plus. Uh, Gladiator plus two skill points, plus 50% combat and training XP, and plus one weapon point. Scout plus five networking slots, plus 50% fighter evaluation bonus. Showman plus, fame, uh, plus one fame per turn, and plus 100% fight purse bonus. This is pretty strong, making a lot of money over time. And Recruiter minus 50% fighter purchase cost and fighter salaries, and plus 20 morale per turn, which is also pretty decent. I, I like, uh, or I don't, I like this one the least, I should say, I think, because I feel like 100,000 starting coin, that's great in the beginning, but then after that, it's just kind of, you know, it, it becomes worthless at a certain point when you've made so much money that 100,000 in the beginning was useless, when you can have something that's much more useful during the entire campaign. So this is, I assume, every time you level up, uh, or every time a gladiator levels up, you get plus two skill points. Uh, I've only played a tiny bit of this game just to get used to, or, or get familiar with the, the the details, I guess, and uh, it, I noticed when I leveled up, I got seven, I believe, or was it nine? Nine or seven, so you get nine or eleven. Uh, more experience, so you level up faster. Weapon point, I haven't actually leveled up weapons yet, so I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm sure it's useful too. Uh, this is really useful for making a lot of money over time. This is useful, but I don't think it's useful enough, and this, I think, the fighter salaries and stuff aren't really that big a deal. I feel like money is something I just want to be able to... The money you should be able to sort just generally anyway. I like the morale per term, and I think I'm gonna go for Gladiator. I feel like that might be the most useful one. Getting extra skill points, making your your dudes just better, like, than anyone else. That seems pretty good to me. I like this one too, but... So you can choose the game length. I'm just gonna keep it on normal, economy on normal, enemy training normal. Basically, this makes it normal difficulty, I guess. Matchups normal, lethality normal, 
Um, show equipment, or, keep on, or enemy equipment, keep it on show, although I'm not sure if I'll really be using that. And enemy equipment quality. Um, actually, yeah, I will be using that. I'll be able to see their equipment. That's fine. That makes sense, right? You know what, what kind of dude you're coming up against. And then enemy equipment quality, we can up that to legendary, but I'm just going to keep it on normal. Everything normal. Normal, normal, normal. Okay. Let's start the game. Hello? Did I? Oh, the game. The game crash? I think I may have crashed. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? There we go. And that time it worked perfectly. Um, yeah, I mean, the game is not released yet, so let's just say it's uh, something that'll get fixed. Um, I'll probably relay it to the developer as well. Uh, anyway, so I've turned the tutorial off because I'll be I'll be running you through the game myself. Um, we have a couple of messages. An introduction. Lignista, I am Muscus, procurator of your Ludus. It is my duty to ensure the smooth running of your school. I do this through both providing proper advice, especially during the er these early days, and managing things behind the scenes. I pray to the gods that you find my counsel useful. Thank you, Muscus. And Skevola Ave. I'm, uh, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. I think I've asked this question before and then people told me no, it's Av or Eva, whatever, anyway. I'm pleased to announce that your application for sponsorship of fighters in our Gladiator games has been approved. Hire your fighters and manage your coins smartly, for you will find little mercy in this endeavor. Signed, Skedo Skevola, Prefectus, Africa, Proconsularis. Alright, so this is us, Donkey. What a great name. So, to start, we can't recruit anyone because we don't have a scout, so we gotta recruit a scout. Or hire a scout, I should say. So we have all kinds of things. I don't want to take absolutely fucking decades to run through everything. So I will basically just... I'll just go by the points. And you can kind of understand. Like, I mean, it's different for each of these um, these, these different things. But bargaining, obviously, like they reduce the sign uh, signing cost of recruits. Networking means they have more uh, available. Like, in, you have a list of a certain amount. And the, more you, the higher the skill, the more you'll have here. Um... Grading means if they can properly grade uh, that, the the scouts and the speed, how often it refreshes. So, like, the staff is 15 days, but yeah, the, the recruits will be faster if you have a, a good scout. Uh, and then, you know, it kind of goes for, for the same. Like, coaching means, like, how good they are uh, from getting experience from combat. This is from training, showmanship, uh, effects gladiator, fame growth, weapons, how well they do with weapons, the doctor's prevention, blah, blah, blah. You, you get it. You get it. Uh, anyway, when I was... As I was going through that, I saw a really good dude in here. This guy, Popli Poplicola. Uh, he's very good at bargaining, very good at networking, very good at grading, which is the most important skill, I think. Only this guy's better, and he's not very good at anything else. You can actually uh, click on that, and then you can actually uh, go buy whatever you're looking for. But I think um, Poplicola is he's pretty good at everything. Not the highest on speed, but I'm okay with that. So I'm going to hire him. Trainers, we want to get a good guy too, so let's uh, have a look here. This guy's really good on everything except for showmanship. Um, I'm guessing is not necessarily the most important thing. Later on, of course, you can you can hire more trainers, you can hire more doctors, etc. Right now, we only have five staff capacity, so I want to have each uh, of these uh, in everything. Um, but, um, yeah, for now, we just want one guy who's kind of decent at everything, I guess. So let's see... Um, looking at coaching, so... It looks like, I mean, we got kind of unlucky. I think we may have to just go with the, sh the low showmanship guy, which is okay. It means we can get someone else later who's better at showmanship. I mean, this guy's okay, but I think training's more important. This guy's got the same problem. His showmanship's a little higher, but then his weapons is far lower again. So yeah, we're just going to go with uh, Betty Cost right here. He's also by far the most expensive guy. So he is certainly the best one. Doctors, let's have a look at that. Can we see someone who's medium at everything? Sickness, this guy's terrible at. Besides that, he's alright at everything else. Oof. Um, when I played this just now, I had a, I had far luckier scores, I can tell you. What? This guy looks pretty okay. This guy's more expensive. Is he any better? He's better at fatigue and sickness. But quite a bit worse at treatment. I think this guy is the most average across the, the mall, so I'm gonna hire him. He's also a little bit cheaper, which is good. For weapons, uh, we want someone like... Oh god, this guy maybe. Uh, actually no, this eh, his bargaining is a bit shit, so that means cost is going to be through the roof, which is not great. I could go for someone like this again, just to have low on the... Nah, that's, that's too low. That's terrible in bargaining, even worse. Like, these are the most expensive ones. Like, this guy looks alright, he's just mediocre across the board. 
but at least we don't pay more. <laughs> like, you know, this guy's kind of mediocre, but... Eh, fuck it, let's go for him, after all. And an armor-wise... Ooh, this guy looks insane. He's incredibly expensive, but he's very fucking good. This guy's also pretty good, but the maintenance is a lot lower. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take the more expensive dude. Right, we've got a couple of messages, too. Uh, good armor keeps people alive, I'll do my best for you. Making weapons deadlier, that is my task. This is my calling, keeping gladiators healthy, cured of sickness, fatigue, and wounds. Thank you for hiring me. If there's anything in the world I was meant to do, it was motivating gladiators to be the best they can be. I will not let you down. And it was a good move hiring me. I'll do my best to send you accurately graded gladiators to choose from. Check back with me regularly. Speaking of, let us have a look at our gladiators. This is, of course, the most important thing we want to be hiring. So you want to hire someone who's obviously kind of decent at everything, and also not too old, because if they're too old, they, they start getting, well, they, it's, I'm assuming this is the same as it is in the previous game. If they're too old, they'll start getting shit much quicker. Uh, and we don't want that. This guy looks pretty decent, but then he's a he's 33 years old. Uh, an excellent fighter, good pedigree, hire Bal Balkeep immediately. He's also incredibly expensive. We're going to be broke immediately if we hire him. Uh, that's poor talent, no positive attributes to speak of. Like, for example, this guy, like, he's, he's pretty shit, but he's only 20 years old, 90 years old. Like, that, they have potential still. Worthless, do not hire the sack of dung, even if you're desperate. Oh, I'm pretty desperate right now. The epitome of trash, his ancestors should be ashamed of him. Do not consider metalists. So yeah, we don't really have a choice here. Looks like we're gonna have to go with one of these guys. This guy is pretty good, but the fact that he's 33 years old and this expensive makes me a bit unhappy. Um, minus 96% cost, what the... What do you mean? Mediocre best, worth your time only in a pinch. The Shackass can barely fight. Yeah, he's, he's basically saying don't hire any of this trash, just get Belkeeb, even though he's like, stupidly expensive. We'll get Belkeeb. Alright, we got a message or two. Doing good. I consider myself more than just a gladiator, and when your finances are more secure, consider building a planning room so that we may do some good in the Empire. Helping people is something I can get behind. Looks like I'm the first gladiator here. You can be sure I'm looking forward to be the first to the first fight of the season. All right, let's have a look at this man who cost me an absolute fortune. We're, uh, well, our money hasn't gone down yet, but I'm sure when we uh, end this day or when he arrives, I guess. Oh, no, never mind. His yearly cost is 45 grand. That's still a lot, um, but I did misread that. It's not actually the, uh, the, the cost of recruiting him is much lower. But yeah, he's very expensive yearly, which means in the office, if you look at uh, the ledger, can see our current cost is uh, 430 per day so we got to make sure we keep that okay-ish we can also see our um, upcoming fight so it's on 11 days I can't see it here but yeah in 11 days so on 11th of January or 12th of January uh, it's currently the 1st of January 65 BC anyway back to our gladiator he's a secutor so there's three different classes uh, the secutor class is uh, rely or is what works well uh, or best with the medium armor and heavy weapons. So that's a uh, spafa is the um, is the heavy weapon, and then medium armor is just medium armor. Uh, we can see his, his different skills. This, obviously, these numbers don't really say anything to you right now because what is what is 136 coordination? I mean, you can see it determines hit chance and stuff, but th th basically this becomes this. But then it's kind of difficult to see what exactly was does what. So I could go over all these, but it's fairly relevant. So, like this. 75% block uh, damage and 25% block. This this skill is what that determines, and then the same goes for all of that stuff. It determines something different. But anyway, this is more interesting. His charisma is magnetic, so high charisma increases the speed in which a gladiator becomes famous. He is a benevolent. His greed is benevolent, so a greedy gladiator will require a higher salary, or share sorry share a uh, fight purse to remain happy. So you can increase morale of fighters um, by giving them a bigger share of the purse. Um, determines how much of a salary, uh, a salary a gladiator saves. He's reckless, so he's going to spend his money pretty rapidly. Uh, his killer instinct is merciful, so he's going to let people live often. He's sensational, so he's, um, he's going to become famous pretty rapidly from fighting. And then his work ethic is unconcerned. So a high a work ethic means a gladiator trains harder. I'm guessing this means he's not going to be training too fast. So we want to be getting him a spa fight. He's currently got 11 hit uh, action points. If you equip him with items, their action points will go down, but of course they become more effective. He's got a high hit chance right now. So we'll buy a weapon at some point too, soon. Um, so his alignment is lawful. Um, kind of, so he can be assigned to missions, that's good. 
And as Origin as Game Hunter, it gets plus 20 agility bonus, which is probably not particularly good if you're uh, using a heavy weapon. Well, it's, it's medium, so it's okay. It's, it's a heavy weapon, but medium armor. Anyway, the first Gladiator. Um, <laughs> I like this name. I don't know how it, if it really fits this guy, but sure. Plainicus oh, is the first of the names. He is so plain that people don't realize that someone is actually there. It looks like the enemy is just swinging into dust and wind. Anyway, so that's our first man. We're gonna purchase a weapon for him. So he wants a Spafa, which is a heavy weapon. You can see the difference in cost. Um, like this is, a, I don't know exactly what this means, but I've, it looks like the, if they're yellow or gold, I guess, or yellow, um, they're generally better, but they also cost a lot more money. So you can see down the list, like the Sika, most of them are like a hundred and something or even lower and then this one is way better and that one's way better but they also have an appropriate cost for that so i could buy an incredibly good weapon immediately this is always the same for the weapon so spafa costs uh four ap to use and then it takes up three slots you have six equipment slots total um there's a critical damage this is always different per weapon and then a bonus hit chance so right now out of these spafas i mean this one is clearly the best I like the hit chance increase uh, of this one, 3%, because I, I don't know if I want to spend 20 grand on a weapon right now, our first weapon, you know. I'd rather go for something that still does the job, but I want to go for the most effective one. So I like the 2% on this, or the 3%, oh, this is actually a Gladius, so that doesn't even work. So it's between these two for the 2%, but then, you know, this one's better, but all these other ones have much higher damage. Your critical damage is nice. 260, 215, 240. So I think this one might just be it. It's uh, between those prices, it doesn't really matter. So it's all about what's the best one. So this one has the highest crit chance. Oh, sorry, crit damage, uh, and it has the highest base damage. This one has higher crit damage, but it's it's the like weaker, way weaker damage. So I'm just gonna go for this spa fire here and I'll purchase that one, and then we can equip you. Well, it's in transit, so well he won he's it, the weapon is not in transit, he's in transit, so once he arrives we can equip him with that. And then we can also purchase some armor. So he wants medium armor. So you can see here this is for the Mermelo, this is for the Secutor, and this is for the Freaks. So we want to buy one of these pieces. Again, price is much higher on the uh, better pieces. So this is damage mitigation, and then also you've got bonus HP, bonus initiative. This thing looks way good. Way way better. Unfortunately, we already have a really heavy weapon as well, so his current AP, I believe, is only 6, which isn't very high. So I'm tempted not to buy any armor. I'm not sure how much it costs to do an attack. I'm not entirely sure. Let me quickly check him again. How much is he on right now? It's 11, so with this it's gonna be 7. I don't remember. I, I think I'll hold off on buying some armor for him right now. We'll, we'll put some armor on him later. Because unfortunately, this kind of ruins his AP. Because I, I believe an attack is 4 AP. So if he has 7, it's kind of useless having... Um, I may as well equip him with armor, because I can only attack once anyway. Although there are special abilities too. Anyway, I think... Uh, sorry, it's, it takes a while to go through all this stuff. We can lend money, we can purchase property. One thing we might want to do, actually. Although I didn't see how it worked before. We can excavate some a, part, a piece of ground, and then we can build something on it later. Such as a hospital... Uh, a training camp or whatever workshops things like that however when i did this before i, pr I excavated something and then i got it it became available after 20 days i couldn't do anything with it so i'm not sure if that's bugged or if i have to wait a little bit longer or something i'm not sure but i will still excavate in 20 days it should become available uh anyway we could of course also recruit more dudes but none of these seem particularly good so i'm gonna wait until the next batch which will be in 26 days because this guy's speed is apparently not very good so um I think that's about all we can do for now. Let's uh, end our turn, I think. So we can see our, we can have a look at the, yeah, this basically. Nothing's coming up the next couple of days. We have four new messages from moving up a data. Gladiators are good at getting hurt. Doctors are good at making them better again. They do this through both wound prevention and treatment. Doctors also decrease the downtime of your gladiators from fatigue and sickness. In the early days of your Ludus, it is likely you will only be able to afford a small band of gladiators to fight in the arena. Keeping them healthy and their downtime mid to a minimum is crucial in ensuring eventual success. What do you call Gladiator without a weapon? Dead. You purchase weapons of hard-earned coins, so it's important to look after and maintain, maintain them. Depending on the maintenance level of the weaponsmith, they can do that for you. Like armorsmiths, they do not, not only maintain your weapons, but also improve the damage and handling of them when assigned in a workshop. A good armor smith can improve and sure Improve and ensure your purchase armor lasts longer through proper maintenance. However, if you build a workshop, you can also assign a piece of armor for upgrading in both damage mitigation and general sturdiness. 
This can make the difference between a living and dead gladiator. And finally, you've likely hired a gladiator now. Yes, I have. You will want, next want to hire a trainer, Doctore. I already did. Or two. To increase the tempo of your drill, their drill regimen. No two trainers are alike, though. Some are excellent at the physical training, but poor at coaching during combat. Physical training regulates the experience your gladiator earns while training in your ludus, while combat, training, combat coaching determines the experience gained from combat in the arena. A good trainer is proficient in all areas. If you build a physical training space, you can also assign gladiators for specialized one-on-one -on -one exercises. There you go. So I think for now we're just going to keep um, ending turn. We don't really have much to do. I think our fighter may have yep, arrived, so we're going to assign the weapon. Which, uh, oh, that doesn't actually reduce his... I thought that was supposed to reduce his action points. I guess not. Uh, penalty for AP. Oh, hold on, maybe... Maybe it just means that his attacks cost 4 AP. Okay, so basically you can do... Okay, so equipping armor... Hold on, let's just test this fury. Because I'm, I'm still learning as well. Let's buy a, uh, a secutor piece uh, for him. Let's see which one we want. We only have a little bit of money, so we don't want to go too crazy. I, well, I can't afford this best one, so let's just choose between these. So these are all 24%. Um, this one gives the most HP. 64 initiative only. So it gives a lot less HP, though. Yeah, I think I'll take this one. Alright, so let's... Oh, we got something. Purchase brewery. A purchase of land outside of Utica has been approved. Other than the sole domus in the middle of the plot, that is a barren piece of land. But I'm certain you will make use of it and build something magnificent here. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, so if I were to equip this piece of armor on him, then... Yep, his assign... Or his exploit's going out to 9. But since an attack costs 4, it doesn't really cha change anything. That said, there are abilities that cost AP 2. But I think the main one, it only costs 1, so that's useful. So we can do 1 of that, and then we can still do 2 attacks. Okay, so... Uh, let's go back to the Empire, upcoming. So there's more stuff here we can see as well, but for the moment, let's just continue on. Two new messages again. Oh god. Gladiators have different personalities. They can be an absolutely exciting presence in the, in the arena, demonstrating fantastic flair, but if their work ethic is poor, they, the gains they make during training will be less. We like to look at the following personality traits in a gladiator. Work ethic governs their training experience gain. Greed. A greedy gladiator requires a larger share of the fight person to be happy. Charisma and flair. Both of these traits govern how fast they gain fame and thus the crowd vote in the arena in case they're defeated. Prudence. How much of their salary and purse share they save in case they you might be inclined to um, execute them and seize their funds after they're dead. Killer instincts, how ruthless they will be in the arena toward enemy gladiators. Scouts. Your first order of business will likely be finding some fighters to train in your new ludus. The best gladiators can be, f gladiators can be found via scouts that you have hired, but you can also scour the slave markets for lower rung fighters as well. Just know that they, are, they generally will be unhappy with their lot in life and their morale will be low. Interesting, so we can get slave markets, so I guess they'd be cheaper. I recommend hiring two or three scouts in, onto your staff. Depending on their networking skills, your scouts will periodically present you with a list of potential fighters to recruit. Their networking st speed will determine how often they present new crops of gladiators for hire. Also be aware of your scouts' grading ability, as you will want to make sure the physical grades of the fighters they are pre presenting are as close as possible to reality. Okay. I just want to murder someone. Ah, questionable things part one. A cloaked figure approaches you from an alley and tells you that he knows your Ludus is struggling financially. He offers you a sack of coin in return for helping escort a caravan of slaves through the city. So it's a, this is definitely a, some shady business, but we get 20,000 for it. Uh, last time I did take coin and it actually worked out. I'm gonna do it again. Take the coin and successfully commit the crime without consequence. You gain 20,000 coin. Nice. So now we have a little bit more money. Make up your mind. Oh god, this, I, have, I had this one last time too. Illetic, your recent doctor hire, tells you later in the evening that he has had a change of heart. He no longer wishes to practice medicine, but instead wants to fight now as a gladiator, despite having absolutely no experience. Last time I accepted him, and he was the worst guy ever, and then he, like a week later, he asked, he said, Oh, I'm afraid to fight, can you please let me go? And I ended up letting him go, so I lost a bunch of money for no reason, basically. Um, but yeah, I can accept and he becomes a gladiator, or I can say, Nope, you're hired to practice medicine, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly that, because I don't want to... Have a shitty dude. Inform him that his place is within the with the patients, not in the arena. Ooh, there's our nope, that's not our fight. There's our first fight upcoming. We got a new message. 
You will want to eventually build up your looter so that it has adequate barrack space for your gladiators, a sizable enough army to store equipment, excellent physical and weapons training facilities, pleasant living amenities for morale, and more. As your coin is limited though, you will want to be cautious at first in managing your spending. Build up your school only if you can afford it. I will do exactly that. Two new messages, something's happened. Exciting news! News has spread that you'll be fighting in the arenas of Utica. This is very exciting indeed. My children wish to be gladiators. Perhaps one day we'll, they will fight for you, says Amne. And morale. Gladiators cannot stand it when you execute their friends. Go figure. Morale is important. If morale drops too low, a gladiator may just decide they've had enough to decide to escape. Morale improves with victory, but plummets with defeat. If gladiators kill, it will adversely affect the rest of your fighters even more so. Sending your gladiators to battle while injured, sick, or fatigued also has a negative effect on their morale, though. Uh, on their morale, though injury is the most egregious of all. So treat your, your gladiators right. Build kitchens for food and provide entertainment to help them relax, and be on your best behavior. You may be tempted to put one of your gladiators to death in order to steal their savings, but your gladiators will start to hate you if you do too often. A Wolf Among Us Part 1. This is new. I didn't get this last time. The body of a merchant that recently passed through the Ludus is found. You're... Oh, it's found dead. A child witness tells you that she saw one of your gladiators, Plenicus, murder the merchant during a heated argument earlier in the night. Accused, accusing Plenicus may have unintended results. High death. Hiding the death could make all this go away. Uh, I, I only have one gladiator. I, I'm gonna hide the body. Out of sight, out of mind. The body is tossed into the ocean. Plenicus gained plus 4,000 4, morale. I'm gonna play this game like, um, what's his face? Um... Batiatis from, <laughs> from Spartacus, the the show, of course, not the... Well, I, I guess maybe the movie as well. I haven't seen the movie in fucking ages, though. Weapons and armor are important. A gladiator without a good weapon or armor is a tr at a true disadvantage. Weapon and armor have different advantages, though. A heavier weapon like a sma spafa, typically used by fine cavalry, will be heavier to wield and swing than a lighter pu pujo. Funny thing is, though, from what I've seen so far, the pujo isn't actually a weapon in the game. So being aware of that, assess the physical attributes of your gladiator before assigning them a weapon. I seem to recall there were more weapon choices in the in the first game, but maybe something, maybe more will come available later or something. Armor selections are similar to weapons in so far as possessing advantages and disadvantages. Heavy armor offers more protection than light armor, but it also weighs a gladiator down, causing a disadvantage in both speed and weapons uh, in and movement. Sorry. Right, it's time. I want to do a damn fight before. The end of the damn campaign. Or episode, sorry. So we're gonna enter the arena. Oh, we have a new message though. First, let's read that. Oh god. I just wanna fight. From Muscus. Gladiators come with their preferred class Freix, Sec Secutor, or Mermelo. As seen below, these are selected on their physical attributes. The Freix class is adorned in light armor, relying on speed and agility to achieve victory. Their favorite weapon is a light Sika. Or Sika. The Secutor class sacrifices a bit of speed from medium armor, making them a balanced class overall. Their weapon of choice is the Heavy Spafa. The Mermelo class adorns themselves in heavy armor, making them slow but hard to kill. The weapon of choice for the, this class is the Medium gla Gladius. You can choose to equip your gladiators with whichever weapon or armor you wish, but their performance in the arena will be elevated if they are using their favorite gear. When equipping them, they will let you know if they are feeling favored by the gods or not by your decisions. Right. It is time to murder. A, a bear? Oh my god. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I fought a couple fights so far. I won every single one of them, except when I came up against a bear. When I, and then I lost. So, there are several ways to do this. So you can sim this instantly, so it just immediately pops up saying... I haven't tried this yet, but I'm assuming it immediately pops up saying you won or you lost. Sim real time means that it, like, text base goes down and then you, you see how much damage you do to them, how much they do to you, etc. You can spectate, which means you can actually see the arena, and then you'll see what your guy does, and etc. Or you can fight, and then that means you control your guy yourself, uh, which is also pretty fun. I'm going to do several things. Uh, I don't really know what to choose against him right now, so currently the odds are actually pretty far in my favor, so... If we say a thousand, I guess we only get... How does that work again? I'm always so bad with this. We, we got 250? Yeah, I think so. Um... Which isn't really worth it that much. So we can share money with him, but since he's benevolent, he doesn't really care about this too much. So we don't have to share much of him to get his morale up. So yeah, we'll share 868 to get him zero morale. The purse is 4300. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think I'm gonna sim. No, I'm gonna spectate this one. 
No. Am I gonna fight it? Um, I'm gonna sim real time this one, like the first game. We're gonna spectate and fight as well. I wanna just try different things, but let's sim real time this one first. First is the hardest. Oh god, does that mean I lost? Oh, we did a fuck ton of damage. Okay, the bear dodged. Oh god, he attacked and I dodged and... Well, Plainicus. Plainicus dodged and he blocked and he dodged and he blocked. And he got hit. Plainicus turn again, he attacks the bear. The bear takes 959 damage. The bear takes a thousand. Oh god, he's overkilled. The bear is dead. Rip bear. Alright, good. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Whew. Right, last time when I when I did the first sim thing, um, when I played when I played the game and I did the first battle and I simmed it with real time, I immediately got an achievement saying first victory or something like that. I was like, oh well, that kind of spoils it. Anyway, we won. We killed Plainicus killed the bear. Well done, Plainicus. Uh, we got a bunch of money. We shared a little bit of money for his morale to go even. Bear's dead. Actually, is the bear dead or is it? Yeah, you, we killed it. it. You can't incapacitate a bear. The crowd can <laughs> can vote for the bear to stay alive. No joke. Uh, so we can see the details, but this is basically what we saw just now. So let us return. We got some messages to read. I despise you. You got lucky. Won a match against me. And now I look forward to exacting revenge. <laughs> I like how he signs it. Amenzu. Fatigued. Plainicus, one of your gladiators, is suffering from physical and mental fatigue. Last time I fought like four battles, didn't get fatigued once. Fatigued gladiators just need time to rest. I know, I know. You're most likely paying gladiators to compete, so it can be tough to see them idle. And it is entirely your prerogative if you want to see send them into the arena when they're tired. Just don't expect them to perform as well or be enthused about it. Alright, so let's have a look. We can see, I think, how long he's going to be tired for. I actually thought we could see it elsewhere, but I like how it was... A Considered a duel. He didn't kill him though. The bear died, but it wasn't a kill apparently. That's interesting. Um, your morale's ecstatic. 7,000. How does that work? We can give him like plus zero from that fight. It's, but what if he's minus 10? That doesn't really do much then. Um, I don't know where I, I see how tired you are, but um, actually we can see here, I believe. Injuries. No, he's not injured. It's fatigue. Stats. Other. Oh god. Oh god. Animals killed one. What if your first battle in the arena is against a bear? Alright, these are like level up things that you can do later. I don't know where it actually says uh, where he's fatigued. It doesn't seem to say anywhere. Um, but I don't know when our next battle is anyway. It's uh, it's not even on the... It's, I don't know, it doesn't say right now. It, we'll see. We'll see when we end the turn, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Bit of a long... I know it's a bit slow to begin with, but I gotta explain all this stuff to you. It's gonna get faster and faster now. Uh, we're gonna just go through the days and, and battle and murder some people and stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm hoping to see a new list of gladiators at some point so I can choose some more dudes. But um, for now... Oh, we also got this thing, which is leak scheduled fight. Okay, great. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Um... You can see the other people here, you can see their rosters and stuff, they have way more gladiators, I have one, but I don't need more than that, fuck off. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, next time, we're going to um, we're gonna continue, and we're gonna murder some more dudes, and bears, prob probably, maybe. Until then, I hope you very much enjoyed this, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. I really like this kind of game, I don't know why, it's... Just, it, some people probably find this incredibly boring, but I find this pretty fun. Next time we'll do some sim fights, and I'll, I'll fight one or two myself as well. I'm probably going to mostly sim it, um, because in my experience from what I did so far, I was pretty terrible at playing it myself, to be honest, but um, we'll see. Um, yeah, also, like I said before, if you want a copy of the game, do feel free to leave a comment and join my Discord. Uh, there's a giveaways channel there. Um, which is where I'll be giving away the case that the, the game's in, uh, but only to people who left a comment, obviously. I, I will have 10 keys to give away. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.